He was the season one runner up at 155 pounds, and he was not happy with the way that decision went. Both of these gentlemen, 35 years old, Nate the Snake is named such because of his long arms. He carries a four inch reach advantage into this bout. Lillian Garcia gets the lightweights going inside the PFL cage. That's right, we now move on to the lightweight division. And this fight is brought to you by the Air Force Reserves. Make sure that you head over for a great adventure to AFreserve.com. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a striker standing at 5'11", weighing in at 155 pounds in 17 professional bouts. He has an impressive record of 15 victories and two defeats with 10 wins by submission. Fighting out of Providence, Rhode Island, here is Nate the Snake Andrews. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, he specializes in boxing. Standing at five feet nine, weighing in at 155 pounds, this veteran has a professional record of 23 victories, three defeats, and one draw. Fighting out of Dagestan, Russia, here is last year's runner-up in the lightweight division, Rashid Goretz Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson, actually our referee inside the cage there. Rashid Magomedov in the red trunks, the runner-up from season one, Nate Andrews. Sir, are you ready? In the silver. Sir, are you ready? Fight! Rashid brings three points into this bout. Nate Andrews still looking for points in lightweight standings. Inside leg kick from Andrews. Andrews in the southpaw stance. Rashid being orthodox. Both of these men are comfortable on their feet, comfortable at striking range. Not only did Rashid Magomedov have a successful season one, making his way all the way to the finals, he's got as impressive a resume as anyone on our PFL roster. Includes 23 victories and a five and one run in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So, very accomplished fighter in the sport of mixed martial arts. Looking to secure points here. Another inside leg kick from Andrews. Side kick. Kind of the hip area there for Paco Beto. So far, Andrew's doing what he said he would. Long punches from distance. Tests out a head kick. Nice head movement from Paco Beto, which is really one of the staples of his game, Randy. Very, very good defensively. Parries very well, moves his head well. Doesn't stay in the pocket when he throws anything. Makes it hard to counter. Catch him on the step on the way in. No he had a tough two. decision win in his first regular season bout against Luik Rajabov. And Rajabov was extremely aggressive, throwing high volume strikes. Very few actually landed. Magomedov's defense was slick. And not a lot of wasted movement even, his defense. Not a lot of wasted movement in his defense. Why? Because he's a very good counterfighter. And Nate Andrews striking from the outside like this, this is really difficult, I believe, for Rashid's style. Why? Because to counter a guy, you want him to step into your range. And Nate is the longer guy. One of the questions about Nate Andrews was, he, he's been fighting on smaller shows, so was he going to be able to handle the step up in competition as he absorbs a body kick there? He, he's really, I think, passed that test at least. Still searching for a win in professional fighters league, but does not appear to be overly phased by the big stage. Oh, big kick kick lands. He hit that one behind a lead jab. Yeah, he shadowed that kick behind the punch. It's kind of hard to block both of them, why a lot of people parry and slip. There's that shuffle step combo that he's thrown three times. That one, the body kick landed. And now Rashid has him pressed up against the cage. He wants to try to keep him tall and get his hips in. Nate Andrews first outing against Chris Wade. I think what was one of the factors is Chris Wade didn't give him the credit he deserved because he was only fighting mostly in Rhode Island in that local area. Chris said after the fight, he was a lot tougher than I gave him credit for. There is the Long Island killer watching intently, potentially future opponent in the playoff with both of these gentlemen. Nice kick from Andrews on the exit. Two minutes left here in round number one, six points still on the line. 
Andrew's doing an excellent job even following up punches with kicks. Yeah, and Rashid's gonna have to make an adjustment. He's gonna have to circle or, or crowd, crowd Andrew so that he can't fire those kicks and close that distance as Andrews throws the kick. Andrews catches the kick. Look at that balance. Excellent balance from Rashid. He ran all the way across the cage on one foot. Yeah. Nice kick again. Oh, oh, right hand. That right hand right caught Rashid. Rashid is in trouble. Staggered a little bit. Andrews controlling the head. Rashid Magomedov take, absorbing some strikes here in round one. Rashid is going to have to open up with his offense. He's going to have to stop counterfighting and start taking the lead. Nate Andrews initiated this clinch, and here oh, comes the guillotine choke. attempt. Go, excuse me, front choke. Reverse position there from Rashid Magomedov, closing in on one minute left in round number one. Attempted toss there, but Nate Andrews gives up the back. He's got to run back over and get that wizard back. Rashid drags him to the ground. Sucks his legs out from under him and puts him in a solid top position. Now he 45 looks like, seconds left. Yeah, now he looks like he's from Dagestan. Well, he fancies himself a boxer, does Rashid Magomedov. Impressive wrestling on display here, especially after taking some damage in round number one. Nate Andrews combination, he throws that left hand and follows it with that kick, kind of masking that that kick is coming. Excellent knee from the clinch there by Nate Andrews. Magomedov throws the left hand over the top on the exit. The pace we haven't seen Magomedov have to fight. I was thinking of the fight. Same thing just Ten now. Ten seconds left in round number one. Nate Andrews with an impressive showing here in the opening frame. First round action here in a lightweight bout. Nice high kick followed up with a right hand. That Sorry, one landed Eve Sorry, from Nate right. Andrews. Right. That one landed clean and we saw it stun Rashid Magomedov. Now I've seen a lot of Rashid's fights. He's a former teammate of mine in American Top Team. and I've never seen him in a fight like this. He's going to have to open up and be a lot more offensive. It seems like he has that attitude now. Right hand sneaks through for Rashid Magomedov. Markedly more aggressive here in round number two. Perhaps a wake up call there in round one for the Dagestani. Magomedov definitely on the hunt in this round, moving forward, trying to find that range where he can land first. Nate Andrews perhaps surprising some people, including Rashid Magomedov, with that flurry and really impressive first round performance. Can the Rhode Island native sustain it? Nice exchange there, flurry of punches. Inside leg kick from Andrews. Long jab. Do you guys get as excited as I do and be like, I, was like, I want to do that again? <laughs> I'm trying to avoid that feeling as I sit here cage side. I lost that feeling a long time ago. <laughs> Andrews absorbs an overhand right and throws a body kick in return. Whoa, that had some ill intent on it. Nate Andrews has designs on the final spot in our lightweight playoffs. If he can pull off an upset victory here against Rashid as he avoids the spinning head kick, he can actually secure that big body shot from Andrews. Well, when you talk to Nate Andrews, he feels disrespected and underrated, and he's making a case for that certainly here against Rashid Magomedov. Oh, nice left hook. Inside the red corner of Rashid Magomedov. Be focused, Rashid. He, he's getting tired, Rashid. Yeah, keep pushing it. Pu push, push it. Move, move to the left. Move to the left. Don't, don't go there. Move, move, move. Swing. Go, go behind the leg. You can see he's getting tired. Yeah, he's not the same anymore. Both corners telling their fighters that his opponent is fading and getting tired. Both corners feel the same way. In Magomedov's corner, that was Ali Isayev, former Olympian and heavyweight contender in professional fighters league action. Another spinning kick from Rashid misses. Another kick caught by Nate Andrews. And he returns a spinning kick attempt. Takedown attempt here from Nate Andrews. He's under the hips and his hands are locked. Rashid defends it. Good job. All right, stay 
There's that old hook wizard, Cole Andrews up. Rashid doing a nice job of keeping his feet. Two minutes left here in round number two. Nate Andrews making an emphatic case for himself as the final playoff contender at lightweight, potentially. I would not mind seeing him in the playoff tournament. Footstops, old school. <laughs> oh, nice takedown nice by Rashid. Two minutes left to work from the top position if Rashid can keep Nate Andrews here. Body, body lock there, those long limbs of Nate Andrews on the bottom. 90 seconds left in round number two. The corner of Nate Andrews calling for her to get up. They do not want, they know how the judges have scored these takedowns. Absolutely. That's astute coaching from the corner. He cannot afford to spend this round, the rest of this round on his back. He lets Rasheed figuratively steal the round from him. Sneaking those legs over, compromising the base of Rasheed Magomedov, boxing the ears. Nate Andrews doing everything but getting up from the bottom here. And notice Rashid has an opportunity to pass the half guard, but he's content to stay inside the full guard and work from here. Saw Andrews attempting maybe to stuff the hand, not able to contain full control of that right arm of Rashid Magomedov. 45 seconds left in round one. Punches from the bottom. We see this all the time. And unless you're pulling hammer fists on that armbar attempt, oh, transitions. Rashid throws a hellacious right from the top, but it misses. But I do think Rashid needs to do more from the top. He is controlling position. But the only punch that I recognize that he's thrown since he's been here has been that hellacious right that he just missed with. Heel strikes from Nate Andrews on the bottom. He's pulling out all the old school tricks. And all the... His hammer fist might actually be meeting from, from the bottom. Two rounds down, third one to come on ESPN2. Quick time out here. Did it come before the bell? No, Keith Peterson lets them go to their corners. Nate Andrews thought that maybe that, that kick from the top snuck into the cup area. I thought it hit him in the butt. It did hit him right in the butt. Andrews gesturing that maybe it snuck into the groin area, but Keith Peterson let them go to the corner. Two rounds down, really interesting fight so far. I think Nate Andrews in round one. We'll see how the judges score round number two. Rashid had the takedown in round one, too. And, and, you know, we've seen that already tonight. Sure. Those takedowns are scored and controlling where the fight happens. Now we're seeing it again in, in, in this round. So really interesting. Andrews definitely bringing it and in a lot of ways controlling the tempo of this fight. Nate Andrews. Looking for points, Rashid Magomedov already holds three points, but hoping for a higher seed in the upcoming PFL playoffs. Still four points on the line if either of these men can get a third round finish. Rashid Magomedov in the red shorts, Nate Andrews in the silver with a check hook. Body kick from Rashid. Again, aggression at the top of the round for Rashid Magomedov. Long straight left. Quick cup check. Peterson says no, keep fighting. Andrews grabs a clinch. Body lock here against the cage. Rashid reverses it. We saw Nate Andrews in this position a lot against the Long Island Killer, fighting off these takedowns. Now Rashid Magomedov works to the back of the Rhode Island native, Nate Andrews. Nice little sweep, takes him back over his feet, puts him on the ground. Beautiful little move by Rashid Magomedov. Andrews turtles and returns to his base. Magomedov now pressuring, throwing some left hands, smothering Nate Andrews against the cage. Rashid has got to get that left hand free so he can do some damage. He has that wrist wrap on the far side. Sit. 
Yep, get your hands inside his if you can. Yep, watch the press. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Keep going, knees up. Yep, knees up. Yo, we need to frame up the shoulder right here on this side and get your knees back to the inside. Perfect, perfect. Just grab that hand. Just grab that hand, Nate. There we go. Nope, yep, good. Give a little push and create some space. A slick move there from Nate Andrews to go all the way around the world to recover his guard a little bit, but he still finds himself underneath the pressure of Rashid Magomedov with three minutes remaining in this lightweight test. He's got to use that left knee, create some space with his hip, get up on his right elbow and start to create some elevation and use that fence to get back to his feet. Andrews creates a little bit of space, Over grabs on. attempt. He's not on the front as a sweep to create a scramble. Halfway through round number three, Rashid Magomedov in the red trunks once again on top of the American, Nate Andrews. Sean, take a look right here. The distance one more time. These guys are traveling all over this cage. They're putting a lot of work in. They've been on their feet for quite some time. But now they're on the mat. Rashid is on top in control. Two minutes left for Nate Andrews to try and snag points in the lightweight standings. Rashid Magomedov on top. Andrews corner calling for him to elevate, but Rashid does a great job of sucking those legs back out. Absolutely. Double underhooks here from the bottom. 90 seconds remain. Andrews has got to open his guard and use those feet to create distance. 90 seconds left. Like Keith Peterson stands them back up. Will it be enough time? Does Nate Andrews have a shot to grab a finish here at four points? Big knee for Magomedov. Getting wild is Nate Andrews. Spinning kick from Rashid Magomedov. 60 seconds remain. Superman punch and a long lead miss. Switch kick. I think, I think those grappling exchanges have, have got a lot of blood in Nate Andrews' arms and he's a little bit slower. He seems Rashid's, like he's a little fatigued, I agree. Yeah, Rashid is still sharp. Oh, that was, that was a straight up cup jack right there. <laughs> yeah. Andrews pulling out all of the stops here with 30 seconds left in round number three. Capoeira kick. <laughs> Don't see that very often. Andrews is showing that he wants it. Ten seconds left here in round number three. Closing out the action. Spinning technique, but Rashid Magomedov finishes with a takedown and some ground and pound. Interesting matchup. I have a two rounds to one for Rashid Magomedov. I'm a little emotional about this one, so it's kind of hard for me to say. Here's our Cajunomics final fight stats for this lightweight tilt. Nate Andrews aggressive with the punches and the takedowns. Three takedowns. We, we've seen how these takedowns are scored earlier. It all comes down to round number two. Did Rashid Magomedov get control of that round early enough in the judges' eyes? I think round one goes to Nate Andrews. Round three goes to Rashid Magomedov. Lillian Garcia will tell me how the judges saw it in our PFL Smart Game. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored the bout 29-28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, earning three points in the lightweight division, Nate the Snake Andrews! Huge victory, three points, and a strong performance from Nate Andrews. So this time around, Randy, the judges did not feel 
like Rasheed got control early enough in that second round. The lightweight standings, that's the final lightweight spot clinched for Nate Andrews. Currently, he'll sit at number six, still action to come at lightweight, and we'll figure out how it all plays out. The Tanshul Islam Mamadov, Ahmed Aliyev, and Chris Wade still to come. That will decide the top of the table. That was a fun fight. Those guys traveled about a third of a mile. Caroline Pierce has our winner in the cage. Thank you, Sean. Nate, huge congratulations. You've clinched that spot in the playoff. Just tell us what that means to you. It means everything to me. You know, I had a, uh, I had a real tough training camp. Uh, I had some injuries early in my camp. I couldn't train for like four weeks. Hey, you can, hey, listen, you can boo me or you can chant for me, but you're still making noise for me, baby. USA, 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 USA. Nate, bl block out the noise. Let's give it up. Nate Andrews clinching his spot in the playoffs. Back to you, Sean. Thank you, Caroline. Nate Andrews. How about this? Those kicks, the punches, and a 25.7 mile per hour str max strike speed for Nate Andrews. He said his foot or his hand. <laughs> that foot was coming around there pretty hard. Yeah. If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No.